right, guys. I think this will be the last one for today. Maybe I'll do some shorts when I get back. I have some stuff I have to do. Oh my God. Ooh. Honey. Remember, she, she was a third part of a third party. Doesn't surprise me. I'm gonna pull this one too. Sacrifice. Oh, come on, let's get a good one for the fourth card. I've been getting lucky. I've been getting, um, I had the lovers on one, but I've been getting um, these third parties. I my third party queen, come on. Maybe because I had it done to me in January. Oh, shit. Or maybe it's telling me don't go back with him when he contacts me. You've got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. Go. Listen. <laughs> Fearless, I am in the path I choose, for i never been led astray, always finding my way. Yeah, right. Not in this instance. Well, here's the green man. He has the big bucks, the nice body, new growth all over him. Snarky attitude with his um, face, thinking he's hot shit. One, two, three. Yeah, three Bs. One, two, three, four, five, five. So that's probably how many women he is with. Here it is, his three party. They're looking right at him. I can't believe I get all these. Honey, the sweetness of your of you swells in the grace of your pool. Oh, so beautifully lethal. Okay, so he picked her out of the bunch. She is the main person now. Look how nasty she is. And her third eye's open. She should know better. But look at her eyes. Her eyes are blinded. That's why the third eye is the only eye that's working. She can't see that he's a player. She's about to sacrifice herself. You must find the ebb and flow of life within your very self, embracing all is embracing truth. Well, she's not embracing the truth. She is breaking up somebody's relationship. And she's sacrificing herself to do it because he doesn't give a shit about her. She's going to be in the same situation that these other three were. Because guess what? She's not the only one. When he gets tired of her, he's gonna make his way around to these guys. Lord knows how many people he's texting and sexting with. It's all a game. Like, it's like what I say, you're the Monday girl. He takes you to coffee because you're new. Or you go for a walk in the park, whatever. Get a coffee, go for a walk in the park. The Wednesday, Thursday girl is the next tier up. So they go for appetizers or drinks or something a little more, you know, engaged. If you pass that, then you're full on. You go Friday or Saturday, and that's drinks, whatever else you do, and they expect they expect something at the end of it. And most likely that always happens. And that's not happening. It's not, hey, I'm never making that mistake again. And go fuck off somewhere. No dicks worth that. 
so here's what we have here. I'm going to pull the goat and I'm going to pull it because these guys and she are being led down the wrong path. He's got a third eye as well. And his eyes are closed. So you can bet on the full moon this month or next month. I want to say this month. It's moving into Aries. You don't fuck with that. This dude, this dude's going to meet his, he's going to meet his match. And she might end up throwing his ass to the curb. And these will too. It always... baffles me how people can act the way they do. Of course, doubt and indecision. Ideal romance? Yeah, right. In her eyes it is until he fucks her over too. I think it's a learned behavior watching their parents because nobody would inherently act like that. No one. And it can go both ways. Your mom could treat the dad like that and the dad could treat the mom like that. And I guarantee most of the adult children have cheated on their spouse or have been cheated on. I know someone that their older brother was cheated on. His ex-wife ran off with somebody. They went over to England or something like that and they stayed for a while, she and the kids, and then they ran down to Florida, cheated on, cheated on the older brother. The middle brother passed away and um, he was cheated on by his wife several times. I don't know if he cheated on her, but it fucked him up in the head. And then the younger brother cheated on his partner of 14 years and cheated on me. So there you have it. It runs in packs. You either pick them and they cheat or they do the cheating. That's the reality of it. And the middle brother his wife was fooling around with the dude and he ended up he ended up killing himself over it because she I don't know what the deal was if she wouldn't leave his brother or what but the dude ended up the one she cheated with ended up blowing his brains out or something I don't know it's just so like a trashy Jerry Springer Eros. Okay, so we have this dude gave her doubt and indecision. Look, her face is turned away from him. He's got somebody over here that he's holding their hand. All she has is a beautiful face. And she believes it's the ideal romance, which is not because he's got how many more behind her? He's sexting and texting. She's had to sacrifice, maybe left a relationship or she's sacrificing for him doing errands, uh, you know, fucking him whenever he wants it, you know, cleaning the house, whatever, whatever. And she was led down the wrong path for sure. Now, I'm going to explain this to you. Hopefully, everybody sticks with it. Eros and uh, Thanatos, I think hopefully that's right. Well, Eros, you know how you see those little cherubs with the thing? That's him when he was little. 
he grew up to be this and he was a ladies man and a cheater. If you ever heard of Hades and Persephone, she was allowed to live on the earth for six months and then had to go down to Hades for six months to live because her mom like was crying out for that to happen. He's the one that shot the arrow at uh, Persephone, I believe, or Hades. I can't remember, I'll have to look it up. But anyways, this card, Sigmund Freud studied this. This is Greek mythology. Sigmund Freud studied this guy. And what he came to learn was, it was sadomasochism, sadomasochism, I can't talk, S and M. That's what was happening. One was for love and one was for hate. Thunatos, if I'm pronouncing it right, was for hate. Eros was for love. Hence why he has the red shield. Let's see what he has on it. He has a goat on it. I'm not sure what the snakes are for, but he ran through a lot of women. And I'm gonna keep reading about this because I know we'll get the card again. But um, yeah, it's love and hate. It's S and M. It's people, you know, this is the gist of it. These guys right here, and I'm guilty of it too. I'm sure we all are guilty. And it's not S and M in like the fetish way. Well, it could be, but well, yeah, it is. But they enjoy, he enjoys inflicting pain on her. She enjoys getting it and then giving it back to him. This is what they call a karmic relationship or platonic. Plutonic, platonic. That is what that kind of relationship is. And he's inflicting pain because he's going to bring more people into it. He can't stop. Once these people get started, they don't stop. They keep going. You can't reform it. It's a form of sex addiction. They can't stop it. He's living proof of it. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. She's going to sacrifice so much. She's sacrificing her body, mind, and soul for this scumbag that's sleeping with so many people that you're getting spiritual disease where you're picking up all the entities that are coming out that he slept with. Is it worth it, ladies? Because she's not staying on her path or her spiritual walk. So this S&M situation, life and death, is going to happen. And it's going to keep happening until you get rid of them. I don't know. It's your choice. It's not the ideal romance. She's not a beautiful face. She's ugly. And that is coming from all the years and months and days that she's fucking that dude. And sacrificing herself, running all over town, doing stuff for him, doing stuff sexually in the bed that he keeps amping it up when that wasn't agreed in the beginning. Or, you know, he was into monogamy, but now he wants to be in the poly open relationship. He wants to be bi. He wants to bring in a whole orgy or three, four in the bedroom. He never she never agreed to that because that wasn't part of the plan so now she's sacrificing just to just to keep this idiot only for him to turn around and do this only for him to turn around and do that so we're left with we're left with these two. She's looking at her. We're left with these two. And Eros and Thunatos. Life and death. S and M. One likes to give the punishment. The other likes to receive it. In turn, they aren't staying on their path. And it creates doubt and indecision, which is why she looks like this. She's a mess. 
Sweets is a mess. I'm right, honey, that's a good stripper name. That's an excellent stripper name. She's crying. And what's that in her mouth? I don't even want to say. This will be the last one I do for today. I hope all these um, have rung true and people will be able to uh, get something out of it. And, you know, that's the most important part. We need to, like, elevate ourselves and really reevaluate who we're dating and spending our time with because it's quite scary that the lies and the lies and the actions that these men and women do to other people i mean it's almost i've said it before it's almost diabolical i mean you i just can't believe the things that i hear and that has happened to me so um like i said i wonder if, you know if it's a learned behavior or if it's just people that become evil. I don't know, but many people, and I've been cheated on a lot, and I have to stop the pattern of picking these people, but many people I know that have been caught up in that, one or both of the parents were fucked up. So, like, subscribe, and like, subscribe, and share. If we get enough, we can um, go live. I'm not gonna go live just with 12 people, but you know what? I'm very thankful. Thank for everybody that's um, joined my page. I'm up to 17 now, so it's a slow climb. It shouldn't be like fast because it's just like a relationship. You don't wanna rush into something because it'll crash. It's a, it's a slow climb. And for people that can read cards, oracle cards and tarot, I recommend doing this. I mean, it's a good outlet, a good hobby, and eventually you can make money off of it. So, later.